Hey guys, um, so, um, a quick FYI about this video. For some reason, my new webcam, sometimes, it gives really good loud sound and good quality. And then, other times, you can't hear me at all. So, with this video especially, you can't really hear me that well. And, like, I'm kind of mumbled, so I'm kind of pissed off about that. But, um, it's, I don't know. Just try to listen. I'll come. I'll put in some um, annotations, or whatever they're called, for stuff when you really can't hear me. But um, what is on my screen? Oh. <laughs> but uh, just really try to listen. I'm sorry about that. I don't feel like free from me and uh, whatever. I don't know what's on my webcam. And um, also, I'm sorry for being so awkward because at some of the points. Since I'm like I'm looking literally directly at my webcam and like I was dealing with this like right here and like I it was it's like it was like really difficult. So at some point I'm like not even touching my face and I think I am. So like I think I'm putting the makeup on but then I'm not and then I finally realized that like I still need to put it on. So there's some points where it's like really awkward, I'm kinda of just like But I figured it out eventually. Um sorry my head looks so awkward because I just had it I had it pushed back as it's seen the video. And my bangs are all weird and such awkwardly straight and like whatever. Um, anyways, just watch the video because it's whatever. But um, I'm gonna put the products that I use below. I said it in the video, but once again, the sound was really messed up, and I'm sorry about that. Someone um, leave me feedback. Let me know if I should do more of these. Um, if you have any recommendations of what I should do differently. Um, so yeah, alright, thank you. Hey guys, um, so I've never done one of these before, but I think I'm going to try it. Um, um, give me feedback because I need to know if I did okay, if it looks good, if the camera has enough quality to do this. Um, so yeah, but um, I'm going to be showing you how to do this look right here. Um, it is an everyday casual look that you can wear to school, um, but it also is fun, it's not just boring. Um, I use just silver colors and black, um, so hopefully you will like it. Okay, so let's get started. Alright, first, um, I washed, I washed my face, got all my excess makeup off, um, but I already did put my foundation on. Now, I personally never really use foundation, um, but for this, I'm going to. Um, the foundation I use is L'Oreal Paris True Match. Um, I have a darker skin tone, so I use um, the Fan Beige W5. Um, I have always used this when I do use it, and um, it works very well. Also, I'm going to use all. I'm going to be using all um, drugstore products, so you can just go to any drugstore and get these. All right, so I already put this on. Next, what we're going to be doing is um, I'm going to be putting on my L'Oreal um, Wear Infinite. It is all silver. Um, I don't use anything special. I'm just using one of these. So you're gonna just put this on. I'm only gonna be doing it on the side. Because, yeah. Alright. Um, I don't put it up here, just put it right here in the lid of your eye, um, and just put it on. I know you can't really see it, but, um, you will be able to see it in your life. You can always put on more, whatever you feel. If you want to make it really drastic, then do that. Alright, next I'm going to be putting on, um, my Alme Liquid Eyeliner. Um, put on a very very thin, do not load it on your top eye, but um, just put it on very thin just to, it brings out the color, it brings out your silver, 
more and um it just makes it a little better. Okay, so as you can see, it brings out the server a lot more, and I think it just makes it look a lot better. Um, next, I'm going to be putting on Wet and Wild. Um, it's all black on my very bottom and my waterline. It is extremely hard to go on these if you're on a computer screen. Um, I don't put it on that good. Just enough. This is bad. This is extremely hard to put on. And our computer screen. So this was a little better the first time I did it. And I can actually see myself. Alright, next we're just gonna go on. Um I use um moving great lash the big kind, it's the pink one, and with the green lid, that's how I remember it and it I love it. Um I I, I don't use anything special. It's um very black. And just load it on. You wanna um for school I mean you can bring down the volume of your eyelashes, but for this look, um just do it right now, just really, really load on it. Okay. Um, you can do it a couple times. And just really, you just want to get them looking really big and full. Um, also, I like how this, it doesn't really clump, it really doesn't. Um, and it really makes your eyelashes huge. Um, I have big eyelashes from Jimmy. It makes them very big. Um, then just put a little bit on the bottom if you want. You don't have to, but it gives it a little extra. Alright. Next, I want to be taking this. My um, silver eyeshadow again, and I'm going to be putting it right here in the corner of my eye. This just brings it out a lot more, and it also makes it look very cool. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it is right there. Um, and it really just brings out the corner of your eye, and it exfoliates the whole look. Um, like I said, you can put on as much of this as you want. Um, if you want to go a little more casual, you can bring your um eyeshadow down. Um. If you want a more party, you can turn it into a cat eye, actually. So, um, obviously you can see the difference. But, um, uh, I don't know if you can see, actually. But, the silver is actually very, very bright. Um, I will upload a picture after this and show you exactly. But, um, 
So basically that's it. It's just quick, um, fun, um, everyday school book that you can pull off. Um, obviously you're not going to be able to wear this with everything, but, um, you know, you can cha always change your eyeshadow and make it go with everything. But I hope you like it, and, um, uh, have fun doing it.